If we're going on these dates, it's with other people for whatever reasons. He has already vocally expressed that he's going to keep going on the date with the same person just to keep going on the date. That's what's not no, cool. No, you can't. Your feelings are not That fat. ain't got nothing to do with feelings. So it's feel all fat. Way... Yeah, but those are not fat. Those are. Are you done? How are they fat? They are very much facts. Tell us when you're done. I'm done. Are you done? Or do you have more you'd like to say? Darian's walking around here like he a free man, and this is trusting the process. To me, that's manipulation. Like, I'm done. I don't want to continue this. I'm done. The conversation did not start here. It did not start with Kai. It did not start with these dates. Correct. You guys choose not to go on the date this week with each other, and you want us to sit down and have a conversation, I am right here for you. I really don't like conflict and confrontation at all. I can see definitely where Lex is coming from. I think it does make us appreciate more of what we have in one another. Agree. Darian, you'll take a break from going out with Kai to focus on your relationship with Lexia. It's been about a week since I seen Jessica last. Um, very excited to see her again. I think we vibed last time and want to see how this thing is going to progress. The way she just like smiled and vibe is honestly is, is, is breathtaking. See what your homeboy Sean talking about. Uh -oh, look good. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What's going on, man? What's happening? You don't, you don't need light rose. I like this one. I saw that when I was like, it reminded me of you, so. Uh, What's your ideal for her? You can have a have seat. Have a seat? Oh, no, I mean, honestly, trying to get to know her, man. Uh, right. First time met her, things right. with, you know. What kind of connection are you trying to make with her? I go with the flow. Everything's all about energy and vibes to me, bro. Whatever it goes, whatever it goes. Whatever happens, happens. Right. This yeah, is yeah. so uncomfortable. Why? No, don't be, oh don't be uncomfortable. I'm man. Just... Meeting Eric was different. <laughs> I didn't expect him to be there, honestly. You ready? I'm, I'm ready. If he's doing his part, you know, I won't be an issue, but as soon as he's not doing his part, I would be a real, real problem. Just take care of my road. The world's gonna be in the garbage, you leave it here. <laughs> I don't. Rose don't even smell good. I'm kind of okay with Jessica going on the second date, but then again, I'm not. Because maybe she actually have a connection with this guy that I don't know about. I'm kind of in my feelings a little bit. She speaks so highly of a guy that she just met, and that's not like her. Kind of over the whole dates thing. I feel Communication has been Sean and I's biggest issues thus far. He feels that I don't always communicate with him well. Is this a safe space or tread lightly? Please, be as open and as unsafe as you'd like to be. Okay. How can I be a better communicator? Proactive information. You are used to moving how you want to move, when you want to move, without checking in or informing anybody else. I'm going to let you have it. She works with this travel group, and so they just got back from Morocco. But, like, we on FaceTime, and she like, hey, say what's up to everybody, and it's just two dudes in her room. You know what I'm saying? I am spontaneous, I have friends that are spontaneous. If you just tell me, yo, I won't be home. Thanks, babe. I always let you know what up, what's up. Always is rough. Maybe we need to take always and never out of our vocabulary. That's what I need. 
Okay, what else do you need? What do you need from me? I don't think this is a fair conversation. What are things that we can do differently to fight fair? I honestly feel that my way is less toxic than your way. Okay. In those times that I do feel some type of way, I, I choose to not speak at that moment. When you feel some type of way, you boom, boom, boom. You like to poke, you like to say, you like to do. It may not be with all of the extra emotion, but you have all of those things. Sean says that he wants openness and details, but whenever I do feel that I give him adequate information, completely honest and transparent with him, uh, if something is off in his head, then he feels like I'm lying. For us to be rocking for almost three years and for us to love each other and continuing to love each other, it's not about being right or wrong. I don't care about being right. I do care about being called a liar in a moment. I don't appreciate you lying to me. Gotcha. One second, she coming. All right. All right. If we're having discourse in the house, I'm not about to bring in somebody else. Why did you want to go on a second date with me? Oh, I thought you were cool. I can definitely continue whooping your ass. Oh, God. And, not on and, the court. And, and, well, you know, oh, not on the court. And where else? What do you like to do for fun? I used to do music back in the day, actually. I was like this hip hop group. I do, that's music. Professionally? I just don't want to make this date about him. I agree. I'm trying to think about the future, apparently. <laughs> Maybe we may need to just move on. Right. You know, and. I'm an active person, but hiking is not my thing. Do you think that you're close to finding someone? Just right now, I'm not necessarily looking. Just gotta let it fall right into your lap and... So if I sit down, you fall right in the lap oh right now? Oh my God. If things continue to progress the way it does, boyfriend may have some things to worry about. How are you trying to hold my hand? Mm -hmm. Oh, and oh, you my. gave me a kiss yes. on my hand. Yes. Sean is saying all the right things, and he's taking my mind off of Eric. This is very beautiful. That's not the only beautiful thing I see. I want to yeah, actually, I'm gonna look at you more. <laughs> you swear. got so what much game. Need some help? Yeah. No, I, I got it. I got this. <laughs> I see you though, like I'm not. I'm not talking about exterior. I see through that. Like you do. Yeah, so I can. Deep down, a little see. bit deeper in there. Like I see who you are. Where did this guy come from? Because I've been looking for someone to actually see me for me. I'm very smart as well, so it feels great to know that someone else sees that. Each time I'm with you, like, I find out more and more. I'm starting to like you. I can't help the way I feel, okay. you know, so I'm, <laughs> I'm taking it all in. My first impression of Tyree is a gorgeous queen. I'm a fashion model, an entrepreneur, and a boss woman. I've never done yoga before, so I am nervous. Yeah, okay, cool. I'm nervous too. But you I've nervous? It. I've done it before, but, but why are you I'm nervous? nervous? Because I had to meet you. I'm looking for a woman that's dependable, loving, family oriented, that has a beautiful smile, and someone that I could spend the rest of my life with. You excited about the date? Why wouldn't I be? You could be nervous. You do. You, you got that effect on me, I guess. 
was just happy to get out of the house for a second. You're gonna face each other. Okay. Open your legs. Okay. You're going to push her legs open, just slightly. Okay. On the first date. Look up. Breathe. Um, okay. okay, so you're gonna pause. Just let me know when it hurts. What'd, What'd you say? study? International business. And is that what you're doing now? Um, advertising, marketing. Mm -hmm. Sales. Oh, I'm in sales as well. You have the look. That, you said the look. So, what were you doing out there? I'm just working in the entertainment industry, modeling, okay. things like that. Yeah, yeah I can so. see that. So I'm in entertainment too. Me and Tyrae are really vibing. We had a lot of similarities, and I feel like that we have a, you know, really strong connection. Do you want to invite me to one of your shows? You should. It's okay? You, de you definitely should. I also, I'm sitting next to your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want more children? I would absolutely have to be married. Okay, that's and good. And make sure that, you know, we're on the same page, want the same thing, okay. same goals. Okay, because I was about to say, well... I wasn't initially attracted to him because he was older. I've never dated an older gentleman, but during conversation, I could tell that there was something there. If she just knew how I felt just coming from me and him not being there because I never can talk, then she can kind of understand where I'm coming from. Darian don't, he don't let me talk. He doesn't. Have you lost your voice in this relationship? Yeah. When you all were apart from each other, was he having other relationships? I mean, he won't admit this, but three kids. Were you hurt? At the time, I was starting to blame myself. Mm -hmm. I was saying, it's my fault because I'm over here. I'm not giving us a chance. And that was part of why I retired. Because you were going to fix it. Mm -hmm. I think part of this process is going to invite you to enter back into the conversation you can come back into the conversation and really see where you are. If you're able to find your voice, you will know what you need to do. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Just be who you are, and you will see if there is enough room for you. It's not one side thing. I'm looking for a man that is romantic, honest, is not selfish, that likes to compromise, and they will love me because I'm everything you will ever want. Leilani looks like my type. You know, she's very pretty, she has a nice shape. I want to see what she can do with this volleyball now. How old is your daughter? No, oh, she's 13. My son's 13 as oh. well. Well, you don't have to worry about the baby daddy. Is there anything? I need to worry about with you. Mm, How to handle you? Handle. It felt real good to be engaged with someone that could actually hold the conversation besides you holding the conversation yourself. Are you a, in a rush for marriage? A lot of things come into plan when it becomes okay. for you to want to give someone your time. How about you? You want to give me your time? I can give you my time. Dr. Nicole said men control the temperature of the room, so when we got home, I controlled the temperature of the room and basically changed her mind. I don't want to fight you no more. I'm tired of cussing. When I was told that I was going on a date with Darian the first time, I'm glad I said no, because I wasn't in the space to go on a date with him. But I feel like after talking with Dr. Nicole, I think that I want to open up and kind of express to him my true feelings. You gotta get rid of that condo. It's a, it's a problem. I feel like a lot of problems are cut out 
if that condo is just out the way. I am just sitting here and tell you, look, I'm just Mr. Perfect. But she has friends that have feelings for her and want to date her, sending her hard eyes, showing her more attention. It made me feel comfortable that he gone, straight up. So how you feel about that, like? No. Why not? No. You giving it a condo. OK. Yeah, we do. Great. That's the first time you've actually, like, confirmed, like, I'll give the condo up. He decided in that moment, like, you know what, F whatever I got going on. If I need to make Alexia feel comfortable, then this is what I'm willing to do. I'm actually in a good place with him. So, was there anything about your connection with him that you wish was part of your relationship with Darian? Uh, yeah. I feel like there's a big difference with him now. I feel like a light bulb just went off. So in our last... Alexia, you said you didn't want to go out with Darian. I was mad. So... When I came from my date, <laughs> we sat down and talked, and we've been talking. And then he asked me if he could take me on the date. And? And I told him yes. <laughs> Did you bring up any of the tough topics mm -hmm. like the condo? Do you really feel like the condo is the issue? For me, the condo is the issue. The fact that he's willing just to say, I'm gonna get rid of it. I wanna win with that. She listened to me, I listened to her. And we went home and finished it off and had a greater time at the house. Sounds good, but in a week's time span? I don't know, we'll see. Will you decide to go on a third? No. I just felt friend vibes. Okay. Last week, I asked you to focus on your relationship with Alexia. Do you want to take her on a fifth date? No. What do they call it? Pandora's box? We're going to keep it. <laughs> We're going to keep it closed. I want to leave it that way. I feel happy that he basically chose me over this fifth date. I think we've made a lot of progress. Here's what I want to see happen with Kai. You all have been on all of these dates. I want you to have a meet up with her to explain your shift, where things are for you, so that she has the respect of closure. And then we will move on from there. Okay. okay. He expressed that he really likes me. He acknowledged the fact that I can communicate. He said that he likes the fact that I'm able to open up and talk to him. What does it feel like to hear her say that? feels great. She got frustrated with me because I'm asking her about her date. I'm always in the hot seat. He will question me down, like. Okay. And the objective is what? Figure out what's going on. So you're fishing? Not fishing. There's a difference between an interrogation and talking. Right. If there's nothing going wrong or you ain't do nothing or nothing's happening, what's wrong with asking some questions? What's wrong with some a little questions? interrogation? If that's what y'all call it, interrogation, what's wrong with answering what your man has to ask? Usually when that is your approach, that's usually something going on with you that you're now making something going on with them. So just don't ask nothing? No. Ask for what you want, and when your needs are not getting met, say that. 
this thing that you all try to do and still call it a meaningful relationship, it's really hurting you. She's very pretty. She's very, 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 very pretty. Then she started talking. She's from Panama, so she had a nice little accent. Okay. You know, I couldn't really understand what she was saying, but I was, you know, I was dialed in, though. I think I got everything that I wanted to know from her, and she felt comfortable answering what I had to ask. Okay. Of course, she does not mind answering your questions. You guys are getting to know one another. You all marry each other all the time, but what's interesting is you don't see each other in the reflection. What you see is what you think the other person is doing to you, and you are not at fault. Mm -hmm. And then you turn around, you do the exact same thing, just turn towards each other and work together, then some of the things that are happening, they will go away. Right. Do you want a second date with Leilani? Um, yes, I'll be going on a second date with Leilani. Would you like to explore your connection further on a third date? Although I do think he's moving a little fast and, you know, expressing his feelings towards me. I would take him on a third date just to open myself up more. The more she repeats that she opened up to Sean, the more uncomfortable I get because Sean is talking about he's catching feelings. I don't know if Jessica's trying to make me jealous or if she's developing feelings. It was a good time. Uh, he had good vibes. We did have really good conversations. We also shared the same career. Were you attracted to him? He was attractive. If the vibes are good and great, we come together and make it work for both of us. So, so. would you like to go out again with Mr. Derek? I will go on another date with Derek. We didn't really get into any really deep, detailed conversation. I could tell that he was wanting to have conversations and vice versa, but we were kind of short on time. Mr. Sean, how you feel about that? I'm not gonna throw up. Tell us about your date. We went to yoga. I've never done yoga before. So it was a struggle for me, but she was there to help me and she was definitely a real cool lady. Attracted to her? If any man decides to look for something, you will end up finding it. It is a situation of choosing your partner over searching for something that you may never find. So you like Tyree? But you're choosing LaMonda? Yes. All of your dates have been like that. I'm not comfortable in risking LaRonda and what we what you do is you say, oh my God, she's so amazing. I can't go out with her again. Oh my goodness, she sang me a song. I can't go out with her again. She's a model. She was beautiful. I can't go out. I choose LaRonda. Is that bad to choose LaRonda? <laughs> it's great. <laughs> it's great to choose LaRonda when it's a choice. In your mind, when you play out your dates, there's going to be more to it if I go out. So then that has to be her scenario. You want to control it. You want to suppress it. You, you want it to stand still. Fear gets the victory. How far are we supposed to push ourselves with these dates for you to say, OK, no? That is the question you have to ask yourself, but you don't. You don't have to short circuit things to find that out. I'm trying to help you.